Ferguson has prompted the governor to declare a state of emergency and activate the National Guard. But KCRA 3's Claire Dewan shows us some critics say it might have been all prevented with just a piece of technology in this KCRA 3 investigation. It's called a body camera attached to a police officer. Advocates say it adds transparency and helps prevent violence. But others have concerns about cost, privacy, and trust. Protests, looting, and violence. The governor of Missouri is bracing for the possibility of worse than this, declaring a state of emergency. The Brown family believes all this could have been prevented by an unbiased video count from a body camera. KCRA 3 spoke with their attorney, Benjamin Crump. It'll be transparent, mm -hmm. and people will know what happened and know if they used excessive force, if they followed the rules and regulations and the policy. The Stockton Police Department considered them before Ferguson, and July's deadly bank robbery and hostage situation highlighted their possible usefulness. Had there been more footage, it would just tell even more of the story. And uh, it would be like adding additional witnesses. Chief Air Jones tells KCRA 3 all of Stockton's 300 patrol officers will soon be equipped with body cameras, paid for by an anonymous donor. Red means that it's on, and you'll hear it beep in just a second. Officer Andrew Smith has been testing out this camera. I was just impressed as to something this small could be as effective as it is. Body cameras can be attached to the shoulder or chest of an officer. Each one costs hundreds of dollars with the added long-term expense of storing footage. Police departments that use these cameras claim they increase transparency by capturing every pivotal moment that the officer sees and hears. But that prompts a host of questions. When should an officer turn the camera on? Should the citizen be notified when they're being recorded? How long should the video be stored? We're just in a world where there's video out there all the time. I would rather have my officers ensure that they're getting video footage that actually captures the entire incident instead of possibly a three-second snippet caught by somebody with a cell phone. KCRA 3 found a number of departments that use body cameras. Folsom Police, Auburn Police, Modesto Police, and Merced Police. Other departments are just looking at getting them. Sacramento County Sheriff, Yuba County Sheriff, Elk Grove Police, Roseville Police, Davis Police, Rockland Police, and Ceres Police. But not everyone embraces the technology. The ACLU of Northern California sent us a statement underscoring their concerns, saying in part, body cameras must be deployed within a framework of strong policies to ensure they protect the public without becoming yet another system of routine surveillance of the public. In a recent federal survey of the 63 law enforcement agencies that use body cameras, nearly one-third had no written policy on the devices, with a lack of standardized best practices. People we spoke to say they think the technology must be used carefully. Just like you have to inform someone of their rights, you should inform them that they're being recorded. The Merced Police Department has outfitted all 80 of its officers with body cameras for two years now. Lieutenant Andrew Matthews says the technology has cut down on citizen complaints and aided in the prosecution of cases. It allows the courts and others to have a first-hand view of what actually happened. They can see and hear exactly what the officer experienced. Merced officers only turn on the camera in volatile situations, like a protest, domestic dispute, or to interview witnesses. Most people's contact with police is a friendly contact, although people don't think of that. And if you haven't done anything wrong, then you have nothing to be concerned about. While well, advocates say there are definite advantages to body cameras, Chief Jones recognizes their limitations as well. We have to remember it is, it is two-dimensional. It doesn't give the whole picture. However, it still is an additional piece of footage that does better tell the story. Some of the police departments considering this technology were not willing to talk on camera. They still have to secure city or county funding. And they say they don't want to jeopardize that by prematurely saying they will get body cameras. Claire Duan, KCRA 3.